Hello everyone, this is my final video demo for UCorp 2016. I've been working on enabling OF2 provider features for review board. For the last couple of weeks, I was working on supporting dynamic scoping for OF2 features. A little bit background here, I've been using Django OF Toolkit for my project intensively. And the Toolkit only supports static scopes. This is a big issue since review board has a concept of extension which can be added during running time and we also want to have any extension get authentication to OF2 as well. So I start investigate the OF2 toolkit internal and I figured out as the diagram you see here that when the OF2 toolkit try to get a list of scope it will first look into the cache if the cache is available, it will return the scope right away. However, if the, scat, the cache is not available, uh, then it will look into the declare the static scope that declare in setting you know, pi, which is uh, declared during development time. In order to handle this issue, I have to do two major changes to the way the toolkit works. The first change is instead of declaring a static list of scope, I recompute the list of scope every time the list of scope is needed. Then I rely on something called monkey patching uh, to so that when the OF2 tun the OF toolkit try to store the value in the cache, uh, I just block that and uh, skip out the storage, just return the value right away. So now you're looking at the code chain that I need to make to enable the dynamic scope. So as you can see here, I'm getting the setter and getter up of two provider setting, which are which is the cache that I was talking about. And as you see in the new setter I create, that anything, anytime uh, the the toolkit try to store the value related to the scope, I basically just return right away without storing into the cache. And then for the getters, whenever it relate to it try to get any value related to the scope, I recompute the list of scope again. Uh, otherwise I just gonna do uh, as it's supposed to do. Then this is the monkey patching part that I actually assign the new getter and setter to the, the true getter and setter of our two provider settings. That should conclude my final video demo here. Uh, since the most of most of the features is already done and these are uh, important improvements. So I won't demonstrate the features again. You can look it up on my previous video demo. Thank you for watching.